D.C. police, federal agents tonight are claiming victory in the latest battle in the war on drugs. This after an overnight operation that netted about two dozen people in the Washington drug trade. So I'm saying to myself, the night I get locked up, some big shit happening. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never really even phantom that I was the big shit. You know what I'm saying? The police ran up to me and said, which one is that? They said, that's Kirk Bones. They said, how old is he? So I said, I'm 18. And they was like, he old enough. But I don't even know. I would say the juvenile. Man, so I can tell you, man, blessed being a land of living, man. Everything else is extra. Let me ask you something. What, um, what exactly triggered the rebranding of the all days clothing line? I've seen that um, since the last time I encountered you, you gave me a few few pieces to work out with in the gym you like turned that shit all the way up what's going on right yeah 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 for real it wasn't a matter of really rebranded i guess you can that's not a bad terminology uh I, I never really laid the joint down you know what i'm saying i just got put my son the team man we can, he, he can know this new wave for all the social media and keeping out both of our folks getting out there to the public you know what i'm saying and you know strengthening up my little manufacturing right man you know i'm back in the game you know what i'm saying back where i'm supposed to be at that's generational wealth. You said you passing it down to your little man. Yeah, yeah, passing it, passing it down to him, man. Pass down a little bone, man. Just let let him know. You know what I'm saying? My goal was always to be the last family on my family tree. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so I'm passing him down, teaching him how to get money legal way, how to network, deal with all walks of life. You know, I don't care what avenue they from, what city they from, you should better so communicate with them. Right. What um what prompted you to, you know, make a venture off into the fashion industry? Um well, most of all, mostly because when I was younger, you know what I'm saying, I always liked the, uh, the Madness shop. They, 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 they were the first uh, clothing line in Washington, D.C. You know what I'm saying? They was almost, they was like the, the uniform for the whole city. Okay. You know and then when I, when I was on my journey, you know, getting to the streets, getting a little dirty in the streets, you know what I'm saying, my, my reputation got real popular. So when, I went to, so when I went to jail and they came back home, I, re, I wanted to reinvent myself. So I say, well... I want to I want to cash in on my reputation and the way I live on a legal way. So I'm saying I always a big dude. So you know what I'm saying. So I say, well, I'm gonna try getting the fashion mm -hmm. and putting the clothes, some clothes together, and also through parties. And so you know that was my way of just trying to uh, you know make some money legally, you know, off my popularity right. instead of going back to the streets. What's the science behind the name All Days? How'd you come up with that? Uh, uh, when I was in the streets back in the day. We used to have a little saying for we. Somebody called back, man. What you want to do? You want to go to eat? Want to take some girls out? I'd be like, nah, man. I'm on the street all day, 24 7, 365. I ain't never leaving the block till I get this money. Right. And I just flip that same concept into you can wear my clothes all days, every day, 365 days for all occasions. That's why I changed the spelling. It's beginning with A and end with Z. So okay. that's the first and last letter of the alphabet. Okay. Uh, finally. Um, I'd like to ask you about this documentary that you that you got on the internet now. It's been probably over 10, 12 years since I last seen your name associated with a documentary. You did a you did a piece with Kirk Frazier years ago on Rafael Edmond, right? Right, yeah, yeah. It's 2005. Okay. Um, how was the how was the reception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a good reception. I'm saying we was young amateurs in the game. You know what I'm saying? Didn't understand how strong that the bootlegging game was. Right. You know and they got the book, they got the they got the bulk of the prize. You know <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hot, man. That joy was hot. How did you uh at what point did you feel it was time to share your story um with the rest of the world? Man, 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 man basically Gully man I work with an organization called Credible Messenger. We basically service, you know, some of the most dangerous youth in Washington DC. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I'm working with them and rapping with them and hearing their little stories and seeing, seeing their little thought process, I'm finding out that they think in the end game is making the hood Hall of Fame and going down job in the blaze of glory. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I decided, man, uh, at that point right there, I said, man, I got I to gotta share my journey. You know what I'm saying? I, I got I to gotta let them know the gold is not to die in the hood. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the gold is to get out of the hood and throw a rope back and pull somebody else up, man. Right. And, and repeat the process. Right. So that so 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 that spawned me to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and then uh, and, and also in the process, when I was just running with that in my brain, do I want to cross that line and open myself up to the world like that? You know what I'm saying? And I was I was sharing it by thought process with a, with an old head that you know I've been getting information from since I was about 14 or 13, 
And he just say, look, man, I know you're the type of dude you like to keep everything close to the hip. But if you die, somebody's going to tell your story. So you might as well tell it yourself for you there so you can just get the truth out. So I say that that pushed me over the board along with the youth that I work with. So I say, you know, it's time. Okay. Um, the, 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 the narrative to the story, it is actually what a rise to power, then having taken a fall, going to going through incarceration, and then reinventing yourself as a businessman and mentor? That's the goal, to cover all grounds and, sh and show the, the beginning, the middle process, and the ending process. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, uh, and, and, and hope somebody can look at that and, and see themselves somewhere along that journey and hope they can make the turn. How far along are you on, on the documentary? Right now, we're, we're in the preliminary stage. You know what I'm saying? We're gathering up you know, pictures, uh, lining up interviewers, it's uh, people going to interview. Right. They're just doing a little more a little, uh, research, still trying to guide. There's a lot to do to try to put in 35, 40 minutes. You know, and then we're in a five, we're in a microwave uh, time where you know people just span not that long. So we're trying to see how we condense that in 35, 45 uh, minutes, 50 at the most to keep their attention. Right. In totality, um, your story. Is there anything that you would have did different, or do we got to wait to hear if, uh, about that in the documentary? Is there any decisions you would have did differently? I mean, uh, the main decision I would have did differently was if I if I could do it all over again when I was when I was a kid when I was nine ten nine well let me say kid all the way up to about thirteen or fourteen I would have I would have wanted to be a kid uh, I would you know somebody say. And you came off the porch early. Yeah. Soon, soon, soon as my mother opened the steps, I ran up and jumped down the steps. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never get a chance to experience none of that playing club football, you know, doing none of those things. And I'm looking back to people's Facebook memories and their social media memories and seeing that the childhood memories, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I came off the, the porch, you know what I'm saying? Oh. I time up. So I, I, would like to get, I would like to get a chance to enjoy my childhood. I had similar sentiments, um, Kurt. When I went to college, I seen a lot of dudes who had pictures from the prom and graduations and shit like that. I never wore never wore a cap and gown, man. That shit made me feel very, very insecure. Yeah. Right, 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 totally right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and it's crazy, man, because when I was in junior high, uh, going to a junior high elementary, you know what I'm saying, I actually didn't get to the childhood, you know what I'm saying, not doing no homework or nothing. Right. That's how, but I still find the time to get get them streets and just getting the grades to keep my my stepfather and mother out my lane. You know what I'm saying? To do it, to be able to do what I'm trying to do. Right. But man, I'm rocking the door all over. I, I got four beautiful kids, man. Three three college graduates, which were two, but I'm gonna graduate in a couple months when, when the stuff clear. And my younger son, he go to stop it, jump in college. So man, you know, and, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do with a 11th grade education, basically. You know what I'm saying? Got my GED in Oakdale, Louisiana, and SCI. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so, man, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to, you know, save, save some youngest, man. That's all I'm doing, man. Is the documentary self-titled? Is it, give me a title. Uh, we, I haven't really all the way decided on that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, my, my thing can't just keep on saying they want to push the name, just push the name, Kirk Bones, just let it go from there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really sure for real. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to roll with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping, I'm hoping for real with platforms like yourself that, Somebody give me a ring or, 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 or DM, me, DM me or something and, and, and offer me an opportunity to get on Netflix or something. Because for real, the story needs to be a, a, a four or five part series, you know what I'm saying? And I say that not to throw too much out there because I covered a lot of lanes. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 um, uh, I threw the biggest parties in D.C. at one time, one of the popular stores in D.C. one time. And of course, the, the street stuff, you know, that spoke for itself. So I can talk about a lot of stuff and through all those three walks of life. I deal with and met with a lot of people intimately. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's a lot that I would like to be able to put on a big screen or also or, or net, Netflix so, so I can pay homage to a lot of people. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, you know what I'm saying? That gave, that gave me the mindset that I got right now. You know what I'm saying? Up to the date. So, you know, that's, that, that's really my dream. But hopefully if I do documentary, you know, some, one of those smart cats, you know, that, that, that really want to get some good information out there and still be entertained and still can, Get shop value, man. You know, give me a call and say, let's do it. You and get some money. Don't leave that out. <laughs> Whoever try to get some money. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean the money, the money. I mean, <laughs> once they do the research on they already know the money. That's not even talk about that. I'm saying, they know I'm not going to, you know, do nothing for no, I'm, I'm not looking for no, uh, you know, no, 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 uh, fame. You okay. know what I'm saying? As you already know, you know, man, you've been talking for a while. I really, I 
prefer not even take this route. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. It's kind of part. It's kind. It's kind of part of the process, man. You got an incredible right. story. Um, I'm, right. I'm I'm loosely familiar with it. You don't volunteer a lot of information, so I got to sit back and wait for the release of the documentary. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> I really right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, man. And you know, and, it's, you know, and I see, you know, I see, I'm looking. I'm see, I got, I got good men in other cities and good and and, and uh, different states, man. I'm, I'm seeing, you know, stuff they doing, seeing people in their city making their story. I'm seeing people in my city making making stories. You know what I'm saying it's like I applaud these guys, man. Cause I, I'm thinking that all these guys in game is to get them a bag, so I can't be mad. Nobody trying to get them a get them a bag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, man, you know, I. I you know, I covered a lot of landscape, you know, not just in the city, the whole belt, what we call the DMV area, you know, Safe Drive was born and raised in Washington, D.C. Right. And, man, it's a lot of good, it's a lot of good lessons in here, man, from the street, from the sport, to the political world, you know what I'm saying? And and and, and, and I, I, I bump shows and rub shows with a lot of people, man. Just keep in mind, in closing, man. When I was a young dude, the people I talked to, and I'm talking about 13, 14, 12, 11, I wasn't sitting around ear hustling a dude that's 21, 22, 25 conversation. I was ear hustling a dude that was 37, 38 conversation. You know what I'm saying? Already done been to Lewisburg, already done robbed one or two banks, <laughs> already done got on four or five buildings on the block. So I was I was breathing under that, but at the same time, growing up in Nation's Capital, when we were the murder cop, was still making the dash into that and bringing the knowledge all the way back from the 70s and 60s. And man, and, and, and with that relationships and the way I walked, I know a lot of people, man, and, and I think a lot of people, stories need to be told, and if I get a chance, like I say, the long-term goal is to try to get me a, a Netflix, it was a series, and I'm going to speak on a lot of this stuff, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, in, in a positive light, and sometimes get to the positive light, you might have got to say some negative things to get to yeah. the positive light, but the yeah. end game is always with me is, if I ain't teaching you, if, I, I'm wasting your time, if, I, if you talk to me and you met me and you don't leave a better man with more knowledge, then I, I waste your time, so... You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my shit ain't for no uh, fame, man. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I've been a popular dude since I've been in sixth grade. So, fame ain't nothing to me. Talk I'm trying to teach the youngest. Uh, that's all I'm doing. And teaching the youngest from Philly, from New York or Harlem or fucking LA. I don't, I don't care where you from. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to all y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm just working with DC because I'm a one. I'm a one. I only can be in one place at one time. But my goal is to touch early young dude on planet Earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? But specifically chasing. The, the blacks and Latinos, because we all think alike, like kind of came out of the same teachers. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, I want to speak to them. Right. So that's the goal. I appreciate you, man. In regards to that, in, in, regard, in regards to that goal that you speak of, I happen to know that I think the top three films on Netflix were created by independent filmmakers from Detroit if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, the bag is definitely contained within the urban media stories, the legendary stories that we have. And I believe yeah. I said it to you before, if you don't tell it, somebody else going to jump out there and tell it for you. So right. I appreciate right, you, man. Right, yep. right, right, man. And, and shout out to you, man. I appreciate what you're doing, man. And um, it's funny, you're making noise. You're doing a lot of branding, man. Because everywhere I go, y'all niggas haul out the window. Everywhere, man, you got to haul that gully, man. You got to let them know the real DC history, man. You got to share your... Let them know what's going on, man. Tell them about the clothes. Tell them about the house. Right, Tell right. Tell them we go hard in jail. You know. You know what I'm saying? So I just laugh and say, I've been sad that they don't even know I'm a man, man the guy been chicken for two or three years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, so, but, you know, but, but that, that just let me know that, man. You're making waves, man. And, yeah. And it's good. You know what I'm saying? You do you, you, what you call, um, you're triggering the thought process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it's like, man, so, so, so that's good, man. You know what I'm saying? Look. You got me about to do a motherfucking YouTube channel. <laughs> no doubt, man. <laughs> you know what I'm no doubt, so, man. You know what I'm hey, look, I don't got no problem with learning my skill from everybody, man. It was a good, a good skill. I'm about to put a post up there tomorrow, man. It's and, game. And, 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 yeah. and, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, you know what I'm saying, man? It's, it's about stealing, man. You know what I'm it, saying? It, but, I'm, but when I steal something, I ain't going to steal something and, 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 and claim I didn't. I'm going to pay homage and acknowledge No doubt. You know what I'm no doubt. That, 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 that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I shout man every time I talk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They ain't ever told me to do that. Well, I'm paying homage because you sparked my brain as a young kid wearing Madness clothes, Madness shot down Kings and Megan. You know what I'm saying? So right. that was that went in my brain. You know what I'm saying? So I'm paying homage. You know I mean? But man, appreciate the time, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know? Whenever. You know? Whenever you make um, some significant progress, or you ready to drop that film, call at your boy. You know I got you on the highest level, man. I appreciate you, Kurt. 
Oh, yeah, definitely, man. I appreciate you, too, man. And, and, you know, thanks for giving me the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to get a short little spill, man. But uh, like I say, man, just tell the people, man, that uh, I'm going I'm to I'm you know, try to cover a lot of lanes for them, man. But my whole goal, man, is to, is to speak to the youth, you know what I'm saying, right. and trigger some of their minds, man, and let you know, man, just because you're, you're at war, you're walking in whatever battlefield, whatever city you're in, there's landmines everywhere, man, you ain't got to step on them. You know what I'm saying? The goal is to get home. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and that's what it is, man. So, again, man, you be good, man. And we, you know, we're rap. Yeah. We're rap soon. Appreciate you, Kurt. Stay in touch right, on okay, it. Man, okay, yeah, don't forget my, uh, uh, you know, the, the old D's, man. You know, I, I got you. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, tell them, tell them where they can cop at, Kurt. Tell them where they can get something. Yeah, 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 yeah man. All, all days year dot com. That's A L L D A Z G E A R dot com. And also, you can go all days uh, year on Instagram. Uh, you know, if you want to shoot some stuff on there too, you go, we can ship with how you want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Also, you can follow me at Kirkbone underscore DC. You know what I'm saying? So, man, and that's that, 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 that's my two, uh, you know, platforms right there. Yeah. I'm working on my, my Kirkbone TV, so that's going to be on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get, get some extra TV with you on that joint. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're figure that out. But yeah, but that's the two days. Now, all days get, uh, Dot com uh, all day via yeah, Instagram uh, Kirkbone underscore DC man and y'all be good man keep y'all third eye open out there man yeah all right Kurt appreciate you homie yeah, my man okay all right one.